want to give you guys an update. Torquing. Torquing is a huge advantage for you with any exercise you do. This will improve literally every exercise you do, from walking and running to push-ups, pull-ups, bridges, and so on. What we're talking about here is we're applying tension along the limbs in towards the center line of your body, kind of like torquing on dual screwdrivers. With the upper body, it looks like this. The torquing is going from, uh, if you're looking at this, this is the back side, you're torquing and you're twisting your arms in their sockets up and around, and the force comes down the back side of your shoulder blades, down your spine, and right towards your tailbone. So when you do this, you should be arching your back a little bit, bringing your shoulder blades down and back, and it kind of looks like you're um, almost doing a bit of a standing bridge. Twisting the arms, shoulders back, stick the chest out, and it's not just arching the back, but make sure the tension is flowing down your back. You should have your entire back light up, your lats, your rectors, everything. Lower body is a little bit different. You're torquing your legs inwards, knees coming ever so slightly inwards. They're not collapsing in. You don't bow your knees inwards. You're just twisting your legs kind of like you're trying to twist your feet into the ground. At the same time, what you're doing is you're greatly increasing the tension in your inner thigh hamstring. Your inner thigh hamstring is going to light right up. It's way better than any of those giant over grown thigh master machines you see at the gyms. Much more effective, and uh, this is gonna be the foundation for a lot of your exercises. At the same time, your glutes and hips are gonna light up as well to balance this all out. Uh, a great exercise for dialing this in is, again, close squats. Call close squats the squats of truth because it's gonna tell you exactly where you're tight, where you're weak, and where you need to work on. So when you're doing this, feel like you're screwing your legs into the ground and bringing your knees right close together while you're using the tension in the inner thigh as kind of your foundation. One of the best exercises to work on both of these at the same time are bridges. When you bridge, you wanna screw your arms into the floor, screw the tension right into your shoulder blades, and have the tension go right down your back as you bridge any kind of bridge at variation. You can even do this to a degree with lying bridges. With this, you're gonna do exact same thing with your legs. You don't need to have your legs close together to start this off, but you do wanna feel like you're screwing your legs into the ground. Light up those inner thigh hamstrings as you lift up. Practice both of these all day, every day. I do this with my clients all the time. We do it 20, 30 times in a workout. It's not something that's gonna cause a lot of fatigue, so you don't need to recover from it. But you do wanna make this second nature in your nervous system. Practice it before your workout, after your workout, when you stand up from your desk, when you're climbing stairs, every single day, as much as you possibly can, because this literally will improve every exercise you ever do. And then, when you do your exercises, your pull-ups and push-ups, Torque the hell out of your legs. Torque the hell out of your arms as much as possible. It's gonna feel like overkill at first, but it's gonna make a hell of a difference and it's gonna feel much more natural and much stronger for you. Questions below, be fit, live free.